Hi everybody. So recently I managed to gather all the information about how to delete an X5 960 CPU in a proper way so it makes possible to use this CPU in your Mac Pro 4.1 for 2009 unit. As you can see in the video there are just a couple of tools you need polishing compound, a one-sided uh, one razor blade, obviously the CPU, a vice, and a little piece of paper or tissue. The main thing is with this method I kind of combined the methods I found and found the safest. As you can see I'm using the razor blade to cut the corner first. In the end you're gonna see that there are no uh, capacitors in this area on that side of the CPU where I started and just to make sure you just uh, align your blade parallel the bottom part of the blade with the CPU die as you can see I'm showing it and just cut right to the um, well, rubbery silicone thingy which connects the heat spreader with the CPU die and exactly the thickness what I just showed with the blade and it is a guide for you on the heat spreader itself so the uh, top part actually shows exactly how deep you would need to cut the same goes again you check the bottom part of the CPU and the blade, align them parallel, just right above the small uh, golden dot, as you can see. So that makes sure you're not cutting into any capacitors under the lid. And you do it on all the sides. At the corners, usually capacitor free, so... But it is always advisable to check if you delete a different kind of CPU and have a alignment point like I'm showing these golden pins on the side of the CPU which you can use as a reference point you just align it make sure that your blades bottom part is parallel with the CPU die the green thingy and then push the razor blade into the uh, rubber ceiling and when you have this all around you can see I'm aligning with the golden pin with the X5960 it works perfectly and also you can just push inside the blade as much as the lower layer of the heat spreader the metal part uh, shows it to you anyway when you have this one you practically cut around the rubber ceiling the rubber gasket let's say that and you can point out which part you're gonna put into the vise as I showed on the video the right side of the CPU goes to the part which moves uh, the part of the vise which is mo uh, the moving part and the left side goes to the, the fixed part and try to align the fixed part as top as possible so right on the edge uh, just to align with the vice head and start to rotate it the only thing gonna happen that the metal heat spreader gonna move towards the fixed part of the vice head and the metal part gonna actually reach the fixed part of the vice so when you rotate the vice and uh, force the cap off practically you're gonna feel exactly the point when it is really hard just don't push it because then you reached the vice head with the metal part as you can see it is aligned with the dies uh, side see and then you're just gonna grab your blade again on the right hand side because there are no capacitors nearby you just push your blade again the same depth as used before and you just try to lift it it's not that hard you're gonna actually hear a click 
and it's gonna pop off. Uh, first I found out that many of these deleting videos showing using some heat gun and things like that I wouldn't recommend it because it makes no sense to uh, try to melt the um, thermal paste which is by even if it's a metallic type of uh, thermal paste it is not that um, hard so you can use this vice method with the blades easily it's not gonna hurt your CPU there is no mechanical damage and uh, so there is no need for any heat gun because usually the heat gun has to be go over 100 degrees which is practically the shutdown temperature of the CPU so you might end up damaging or uh, dissolving the soldering points of the capacitors so I'm not using the extra heat just this blade to cut the rubber gasket around then use the vise to force it on the side and then to use the blade to just pop it off and then you can use the blade easily to cut off the remaining rubber gasket of the CPU uh, considering the thermal paste the so-called liquid metal thermal paste like I said and you can see in the video you can even make a mark on it with your fingernail it is quite quite pliable material so don't worry about it uh, when you use the vice because it's not gonna damage your CPU and you can actually use the blade just st start a little bit uh, further in not at the uh, side not at the exact um, parameter of the core because you might end up cutting into it so you can actually use the blade to peel this so-called um, metal thermal paste uh, off. I'm using the blade to practically cut off the, the majority of this paste uh, using a wiggling motion left right left right as you can see slowly and I advise you to push the CPU towards the blade and not the blade towards your finger for obvious reason and when you reach the end just slow down and uh, use as little force as you can so you're not cutting your finger or cutting off the capacitors and when you finished you just uh, do this from the other side so you can cut off the remaining thermal paste from the other side obviously because you didn't start from the very edge to make sure not cutting into the core itself core of the CPU as you can see it's quite easy this term this um, this metal thermal paste is quite pliable so and still not using any heat to prevent damage because you not heat not cooling the CPU and you applying um, heat then you're gonna damage it uh, as you saw the vice was not uh, used with heavy force and also pre-cut the the gasket make sure makes sure that you're not uh, putting any additional pressure on the core itself and there you have it you have the gasket cleaned you have the excess thermal paste cleaned and uh, yeah one more advice when you cut the rubber gasket around make sure your finger is not in front of the blade because it might get cut if you are not as calm as I am during this procedure and I did it like three times so far so I'm not uh, telling that I have a huge experience it's not a hard procedure either I'm gonna have some links for the vice for the um, cleaning cloths and uh, also the blade and um, the paste what I'm just using now to practically clean the surface even more this uh, polishing compound removes the remainder of the liquid thermal paste as you can see on the tissue and then you can use the alcoholic wipes or this one or the other one I showed before to clean off the residue and also then another clean alcohol wipe to clean off the metallic particles around the small capacitors and well that would be all 
I believe this is the best way to delete your CPU if you really want it. Although I would suggest to check out my other video, which is actually showing you how exactly to use the CPU with the lid on it in your 2009 Mac Pro. Uh, because I, I believe that's the best way because that's how the CPU was designed originally. And you should use it like that. It's not that hard. Uh, check out that video, but if you want to delete your CPU, this procedure is no more than the length of this video. It's 10 minutes and Well, you can use these CPUs in this condition with the original uh, Apple plastic and Nothing else really so I hope this video helps and see you in the next one